guys. Hey, I just wanted to let you know what was going on. The social worker just left, and um, she just gave me some more information about heaven. Uh, it looks like we will be getting their siblings. I'm supposed to go to court on Tuesday to pick them up after the courts um, make them wards of the state. I'll have to be there to pick them up. Um, Heaven's mother is still very hostile towards Heaven and does not want reunification of her. But her father, we think, he did submit his DNA test, but they don't know yet. Um, th the results haven't come back yet. Apparently, Heaven's mom gave Heaven away when she was born, which I told you guys that, to um, a homosexual couple that were wanting kids. It was all done under the table, illegal. Have, uh, Heaven's mom had printed some paperwork off the internet, and they signed it. They even, you know, took the baby and gave the baby their last name, which is a hyphenated last name. And um, Heaven's mom went back to the hotel with the other two kids and was living there at the hotel. And someone from the hotel called child um, DFS. And when DFS came, <coughs> you okay? You okay? You okay? Oh, when DFS came, uh, oh, she's got a bad cold. She's getting over sinus infection. When DFS came, they asked about heaven. They said, well, you have a, a third child. Where is she? And she said, well, I put her up for adoption. And they said, well, let me see the paperwork. And she said, well, um... Here it is. And they said, this isn't legal. This is not legal. You can't just give your child away. So they made the homosexual couple give heaven back. And she's looking up at the camera. I'm sorry, I can't put you on there, baby. I can't put you on camera. I know you want to be on camera. and You're so pretty. I would love for you to be on camera, but I can't. So they brought heaven back and gave her to the mom. And um, they took good care of her. They pierced her ears, and you know she she when she got back to the mom, she was in real good condition. She was about six months at the time. Well, after that, the mother decided I don't want this little girl, so she gave heaven to another couple that was staying at the hotel. Actually, it was just a single person that was staying at the hotel and just abandoned her there and left her there. And that person couldn't feed Heaven. And that's when, uh, you know, they took her to the hospital because she was seizing, having a seizure. Her sodium levels were really low when she got there. And uh, that's how uh, we got Heaven. But the father apparently um, had been wanting his child since she was born. But the mother kept moving, and he couldn't find her. And so he had called DFS a few times on her, and that's how they came to the picture when they found out that she had given this baby to a homosexual couple. So we don't know for sure if he's the father yet. He did submit his DNA. And um, these are the downs. You know, there's ups and downs to this. And I can't... Um, you know, be selfish and say, well, we want her, you know, because if this is his child, it's his child, and he wants his baby. So, I don't know. Where am I mentally right now? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being on top of the world, 1 being at the bottom of a pit, I'm a probably I'm probably at a five, a good solid five right now. Emotionally, I'm all over the place because I don't know. This is hard. This is, this is the hard part of being a foster parent. So you know, we just have to keep loving her. And <laughs> she's trying to talk. She wants to be the boss. We just. You know, have to keep loving her, and you know, and that's all we can do. 
Whatever God's will is, then that's what we want. That's what we want for her. I know, baby. I mean, you guys know we would love to adopt this little girl. But we have to do what's best. And if her father is not fair, you know, if her fa if if he is her father and he wants her, then he has every right to So we just pray that, you know, he's a good person with this, you know, stable job and a good place, nice place to live. I know, I know. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. And, um, sorry. <laughs> that's what's going on right now, and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Guys, Sam's with the baby. We're doing our shopping today, and I'm looking for Pampers, you know. Not Pampers, because we don't like Pampers. We actually like the off-brand Target cheap brand, because it has that strip that tells when they've wet. And so far, I don't see anything. I got the, um, wipes. That are let me show you. babies with me, but we get how many boxes? I think ten boxes of those. Ten boxes of those wipes, and they're like sixteen dollars. So right now, um, I see the Huggies, but we don't really. Oh, it does. Huggies has the strip. I might get those. One hundred and eighty-four diapers. Hmm. February the 1st, it's Saturday, and it's an ugly day out here in St. Louis. It's raining and 32 degrees, so it's cold and wet. Brian, uh -huh. That's the baby saying hi. Brian and I are on our way to pick up some things for Heaven's siblings. We will be getting her on Tuesday, and we need a booster seat and a convertible car seat. At least that's what Layla told me from Brooklyn and Kamal's mom. She said we needed a convertible seat for the four-year-old and a booster seat. No, a convertible seat for the two-year-old and a booster seat for the four-year-old. So that's what we're going to get and some clothes for them because we don't know what they, you know, they may not have anything. Um, Heaven only had the clothes that she had on when we picked her up. So, yeah, we're going to go to that kids' resale shop to pick up a few little clothes items. Oh, good. Okay, he got it. Yeah. Yeah, I was just I'm glad you got that cuz I forgot it. Good. Okay. Yeah, you got your, you got your wallet and your wallet. and your phone. Okay. So anyway, um yeah, and then we're going to go out and get something to eat. And uh, I don't know. Well, we're going to be we're going to be busy. We're going to have three kids. We went from 0 to 3 kids. Oh, but I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I'll check back with you guys in a minute. Bye. What's up, guys? So we're at Target looking for stuff for the little ones and looking for a light bulb now for the lamp that I bought them. Um, let me see. Brian and the baby. So I'm looking for light bulbs right now. Really? What are you talking about, little one? Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to show Cindy walking down the aisle. There are the little right there. She's saying, get me out of here. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, that is embarrassing, isn't it? Awesome. So we found the heaters that we're looking for right here. They're on clear. Great. Little space heaters yeah. for the kids' room. Oh, yeah. Mom will get it. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get the little Hello Kitty panties. We got picked these up for the two year old little girl. She's already potty trained, so that's good. We won't have to do diapers for her. My goodness. Hey, she's taking the potty seat. We got the little potty seat, too or when they go to the bathroom so they won't fall in the toilet. Sorry about moving the camera around. I'm just everything's kinda awkward. We got these car seats right here. The this is a convertible one right here that Layla told us to get and 
she's like, I'm daddy. Uh -oh. We're looking for coloring books for the little ones. Brian has one activity book. We're going to get the Sesame Street one. This one's a coloring animal. Oh, sorry about that. But sorry, okay. neither do we. Yeah, yeah, we don't know either. Um, so, Brian, look at her. She's trying to take the camera. Mm -hmm. Brian's got the Sesame Street. Can we just get two Sesame Street ones then? I guess. I guess. I only saw one. Maybe there's another one down there. Look at her shoes. Aren't they cute? Cute little shoes. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's kind of advanced for a four-year-old. I know. It's kind is, of is there an age on there that says? Age is three and up. Three and up, really? What's and that's for coloring? Yeah. Huh. What's up, guys? It's uh, February the 2nd, Super Bowl Sunday, and we're on our way to church. I'm sitting in the back with the baby because she was a little cranky this morning because I was in her nose getting those boogies out. She didn't like that. But she looks so cute today. I wish I could show you guys a picture. She's so cute. She has on a black and white, uh, uh, black and yellow and white dress. It's cute. Anyway, I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. So we are home from church and we're on our way to my in-law's house for a Super Bowl party. Um, 20 degrees here, pretty cold. We left the baby's outfit on because she looks so cute. So what team are you guys going for? I'm going for the Seattle Seahawks. So I think my husband is going for the Broncos. Yes. Did you get that? Uh, the, the other, you know where it is? What? The number? It's on the computer. Okay, yeah. Oh, um, my husband's going for the Broncos, so. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to lose. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we're doing, and the baby's tired. She usually takes a two-hour nap. On the way home from church, she took a nap, and it was only like 40 minutes. And I laid her in her, no, it was 15 minutes. I laid her in her crib, and, um... I laid her in her crib and let her sleep for another 40 minutes. So she had like about an hour and 15 minutes or something like that. So she's pretty tired. I think she's sleeping now. She's so quiet back there. But it feels like I'm catching another cold, and I'm so sick of this. I mean, St. Louis weather. Say hi. She's saying hi. Last weekend it was like 56 degrees, and then this weekend is 20. And my sinuses, they don't don't know what to do. So, I'm just, ugh, I'm sick of being sick. All right, guys, I'll check in with you in a minute. So this is the convertible car seat we got for the two-year-old. We picked this up from Target. And I like it. It's really nice. We got the uh, booster seat for the four-year-old, so. Oh, I should have brought those Tim Tams out here. Yeah, you should have, so I can do the Tim Tam We'll do it cheese. tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. She don't seem like that's a lot of room. I know. Well, but small. she's real small. They said yeah. that she was I know, but when small. She gets a little bit bigger, she's gonna. She's gonna be able to I don't, how long do the kids are um, the stay pounds. in the convertible? It says up to forty pounds. Up to forty pounds. All right. Gosh. Mm. If they're gaining weight the way Heaven's gaining weight, good lord. She's gaining a pound a week. I know. There's no leeway. <laughs> I'll check back in a minute, guys. That's so cute. <laughs> so Aunt Pam already bought her a Valentine's Day outfit. Turn it around. Isn't that cute? And it's got little bloomers. No, little pants. A little pants. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it's got bloomers up under the skirt. No, I, I don't think so. Like, oh, okay. I think it's just a skirt. Oh, they're dress. so cute. Isn't that cute? Look at the little hearts on there. <laughs> that is adorable. It was too cute. This little baby is well loved. <laughs> what does your shirt say? Oh. Sarcasm is a body, a body. Natural defense. Natural defense against stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong for that, girl. That's kind of so true. Little Heaven's getting her bath. So with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and end my vlog my vlog for the day or last couple of days. I can't remember. Good night, guys. See you in the next video.